Here it's talking to believers, not to the people of the book. Believe in God and his messenger and the book he sent down upon his messenger, the Quran, and the book he sent before, which is what? The Torah and the gospel. Now, uh, if you... Yeah, we, we are running out of time. We made a commitment yep. to each other. Absolutely. Uh, so you have another chance. For Absolutely. Absolutely. If these, this root of the matter is questioned, if the root of the matter right, is something that's questionable, then is not the entire religion questionable? So how could the correct interpretation of a religion be that which brings its own destruction? So it's unnecessary, right? The whole thing is unnecessary. Right or wrong? So I asked the question, well, well, why bring a new religion then? Why would God bring a new religion? If it's unnecessary. You don't bring an update to something unless it is necessary to the previous scripts. And I can read to you. You light on verses. All right, you said it. I'm light on verses. I'm not light on verses. I was being kind, right? And <laughs> not, I appreciate And that. not bringing so many verses to just, just drown everyone in it. But let's bring some verses on this religion that you say is acceptable to be followed according to the Quran, why is the Quran in constant attack on its reliability? Why is it in constant attack stating that the Torah and the Injil have been altered, that they're not reliable? And it says, oh, Jews and Christians, do not say except what is the truth. Okay. Verses showing that, why do you reject the revelation? Why do you alter the revelation? Many ayat that I could go through for here, just give me a second. Previously revealed books have been corrupted. They twist words out of context. How are we going to follow it then? The same thing. They twist words out of context and disregard much of what they were reminded of. Okay. Listeners to lies and transmitters of lies. They distort words from their place. Secondly, let's go to logic for a second. If God is accepting of the Jewish faith, and the Christian faith, and the Islamic faith. If I worship sincerely according to these, then I'm also a believer that God is accepting two opposite things. So is Jesus son of God, or is he a bastard boy? Is Mary, is Mary a righteous woman who had a miraculous birth, or did she commit adultery? These aren't fuzzy lines. This is far apart. Which one is it? So if all these are acceptable paths to God, you said they're lanes. I don't say they're lanes. One is going north, one is going east, one is going south. And you're telling us they're going to the same destination. They're opposites. Logic tells us one's got to be right, one's got to be wrong. These two opposites cannot be true. Is Muhammad a liar? They say he's a liar. Some say he's crazy, he's deluded, and some say he's a truthful prophet of God. Uh, guess what? They're all going to have all these opposite sayings about God's, God's uh, prophets. Is Jesus a prophet, the son of God, a, a, a Jewish rebel? Which one is it? So by logic alone, these three opposite things cannot be true. These three opposite faiths cannot be true. And the meaning of believing Jews and Christians means completing your faith. Submitters, as I said earlier, I concede to it, would not submitting include the prophet, peace be upon him? 